Bon. Next up, DeFi market cap drops 25% a day. And this is another quick article. But uh, this is a blog post by Santiment, and they estimated that the daily DeFi token trade volumes have fallen by 30% combined. Uh, place, uh, tokens like Sushi, Uniswap, and Urine Finance are among the hardest hit. Weekly losses of 51% to 31%, which that's a bummer. That sucks, right? Let me just be clear before we go on. There's a big place for decentralized finance. I think it's going to be enormous. I just don't, I just think it's just too early and these projects are just too immature. I think they will grow. I think it'll be great. Just not right now. Santa Mac claims to have identified whale accumulation activity taking place around several DeFi assets, including synthetics. So when I read that, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should get into synthetics. Maybe I should actually look at it a little bit harder if whales are accumulating. Or maybe not. Maybe they just want to accumulate and pump the price so people can jump in. They can dump it all on the bag holders. Who knows? Sandsman also noted that the combined value of DeFi assets at the time they last moved on the MR MVRV blockchain has dropped an all-time low, indicating undervaluation at current price levels and we'd like undervaluation because we can scoop them up for a fire sale discount lastly DeFi indexes slumped to record lows this past week uh binance did one uh, they did a DeFi composite index and it crashed uh one fifth or 20 percent yesterday and then overall it's fallen 63 percent uh from late august so that's not a good one to get into right now or maybe it is i mean it's fallen so much but uh if you started out there woof so always be careful with the shiny objects and i always talk about don't fomo in when i say don't fomo in <clears throat> i don't mean like don't get into it i what i'm saying is you know do your research take a real hard look and then when you want to buy in dollar cost average if you got a thousand bucks don't on tuesday go you know what boom here you go synthetics take it all no it's not the way to do it just dollar cost whatever you think you can afford so let's say you have a thousand let's say you put in 20 bucks super conservative right super conservative 20 bucks in maybe you buy another 20 in 48 hours or 72 or a week later i don't know but the whole point is that you don't feel that tightness in your chest when you dump a thousand in and then it drops 30 percent. you're like shoot i just lost 300 bucks i can't just like that my wife's gonna kill me that's not the way to do it. You just put a little bit in and if it drops a little bit, you're like, great, I could put a little bit of money in. If it goes up a little bit, you're like, awesome, I made some money. That's the whole secret. It's not super tough. I know there's traders out there. You guys do whatever you want. I'm just not a trader. And this actually leads me to my next point, which I did a little, uh, this was a forward. Somebody uh, had posted this about the overall percentage drop for decentralized finance. You can just take a look. I mean, Curve, uh, as far as like, here's what it, here's what's all time high, and then today, and then sushi swap, and da 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 da. Right. So the median is about sixty percent, average sixty one. So pretty big drop. And then I just post this, and you know, some good replies, and everybody's got you know pretty good stuff. I mean, I got some smart people that follow me, thank God. And uh, this one was really good. DeFi dummy he says, hey, no worries, I'm all diversified and DCA'd in early. Uh, in early, DeFi will replace part of the traditional financial system. True. I totally believe that. Sure, most projects will disappear. True. But some will become leaders in the industry, and I expect 80% of my portfolio to go to zero. I expect, I can't believe he said it perfectly. I expect 80% of my portfolio to go to zero. If 5% moons, moons, I'm a happy camper. And that's the big thing. And this is the big thing about these big money institutional players getting in the game. They know if they put money in, well, the downside is, and this is just like what Raul Paul said yesterday. He's like, well, I could lose 50%, 70 80%. I mean, the downside, that sucks, you know. But it's an asymmetrical investment because I know that this and these projects, specifically he's talking about Bitcoin, can go dramatically higher. So, uh, yeah, I might lose 80%, but it could go up 1,000, 2,000, 10,000%. I don't know. I mean, it could really go up. And this is what investors always salivate over, asymmetrical investments. And that's why I'm in this space. All right, let's move on to our last article. <laughs> 